it's 3 a.m. and we are dealing with a small rodent problem here in the room. Been woken to a tiny little mouse trying to eat my snacks. So, we think we saw him go out and we're plugging the hole. This has been going on for about 45 minutes. Our little rodent didn't come back last night, but we did a bear hang just in case. Yummy, yummy. Good morning, friends. Good morning. We are on day 77, and what a wonderful day it is. You know, when you camp out in the woods, you expect to hear the sounds of nature the crackling of sticks, the rustling of leaves. You know, you're sharing the forest with the animals and you expect to obviously hear those things, but not in your hotel or lodge room. As you saw from the videos, we had an unexpected guest early this morning. And I mean, it literally woke me up from a dead sleep. It sounded like somebody trying to quietly but loudly open a bag of chips in, a, in the middle of a movie theater or you know some quiet place. I mean, it was just so loud and intrusive. Finally, after playing peekaboo with this creature, I discovered with my flashlights exactly what it was. And so well, Mickey was uh, trying to get into Sunshine Snack Bag and located its hole and I finally plugged it, but we dealt with that for about an hour or so. But yeah, that was interesting. This morning I feel pretty good. I got had some, I put some ice on my shin and knee last night and did it again this morning. But so far I am pain free. I'm trying to do toe striking versus heel striking on the ground. I watched a YouTube video last night that's supposed to help alleviate uh, pain from shin splints and we'll see how that works. It's obviously awkward to do that. I can do it all the time, but we're just gonna take our time today. And if I start to feel it come on, we'll just make sure we stop, rest, and then continue. But so far, so good. How are you feeling, Sunshine? Good. All right, we'll see you on the trail. All right, we just summited the mountain and it's much clearer up here. We saw a few times that the sun was peeking through and it looks like it's trying to clear things up for a beautiful afternoon. Looking forward to it. Another area with lots of rocks. We're about four miles in and we have about four miles until the Skyland Resort where we're hoping to have lunch. Although I'm still full from breakfast, but I'm sure I can make some room. I wanted to say how much that we have evolved in the last 77 days because there was a time when that little mouse incident last night where we would have packed up the car and been gone but we are now one with nature i mean you are finally one with nature <laughs> This is a glorious part of the trail. Nice and wide. It's 
downhill but gradual and pretty soft. All right, the fog and the clouds have cleared. The sun is out. And what a glorious day. short about 200 miles. That stupid squeak is back. Driving me insane. Hey guys. End of day 77. We are at Bird's Nest Number Three Hut in the Shenandoahs. It's a shelter. Yeah, they call them huts here in the park. It's our first shelter slash hut in the Shenandoah National Park. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's nice. They have a bear box, so yay! No bear hang. Yeah. Today was, in terms of hiking, a wonderful day. Yeah. I mean, just some spectacular views. The sun cleared all the fog and the clouds and it was just a nice, pleasant, not too warm, breezy, good hiking day. Mm -hmm. It was and we got to have breakfast at the lodge and then lunch at the resort, Skyland Resort. Sadly, it wasn't so good for my body. I, I felt like I was able to manage the shin splints in my right, my right leg. A little better than yesterday. I've been trying to do some more toe striking on the downhills especially versus hitting heel first. I'm trying to do toe first and kind of, I don't know if it makes sense or not, but kind of walking with a lazy foot. So I'm not lifting my foot as I walk to put tension on that muscle that's right, right along your shin, your shin muscle. But the hardest part I struggled with was swelling behind my knee today. It was rough. Uh, we end, only did 13.7 miles no, or 14.7, 14, less 14, than 15. Yeah. Uh, but right around mile 11, I just felt like my knee was going to explode. I have my calf sleeves on. I took, pulled down the calf sleeve on the right leg and I did feel some relief of the swelling after I did that. Um, but it just kind of flared up again. So I, tonight when we got into camp, I'm just kind of elevating my leg. Hopefully that helps with the swelling and I don't know, we'll see. I ordered a tendon strap and we'll see if that works. I've used that in the past before. We'll see what tomorrow brings. We're gonna try to push for a big day tomorrow. Yeah. So we're trying to get into Front Royal on Thursday. Today's Tuesday. So we're trying to do a big day tomorrow because we need to get to the shuttle point by 12.45 on Thursday. And so we need a shorter day. So I think we're gonna try and leave early tomorrow to give ourselves lots of time for lots of breaks. And then we're trying to get into Harper's Ferry on Sunday where he's got new shoes, new insoles, new compression sleeves, <laughs> and this new knee band. <laughs> So, um, so I don't, I pushed my shoes this, this go around probably an extra hundred miles. I don't know if that's causing it. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. But, and so it, it's kind of what we're trying to do is trying to get ourselves to Harper's Ferry. And then if we need to take some time off, we'll do it there. There's not really a good place to do it where we're at. So that's what we're hoping. I'm making do. I'm managing. And it's, it's just a little rough going. If Once I rest for 10 minutes, I can go for another couple of miles, so two or three miles without, you know, significant pain. But, I mean, it's manageable. Um, don't worry. All is good. <laughs> it's just irritating. It's stressful because you don't want to hurt anymore. So every step you're concentrating not to do anything stupid. But anyways. 
All right, guys. Well, sorry we'll see to you be tomorrow. dramatic. <laughs> We're going to bed. Good night. Good night.